Most animals mate during spring or summer, and that's usually when there is an abundance of food and sunlight, and of course, fertility. But what about humans? For us, there's almost always an abundance of food, sunlight, and fertility. Does that mean we have just one everlasting mating season? According to Dominic Clark, author and professional matchmaker, humans really don't have mating seasons because we mate throughout the year and not during specific periods. However, the United States National Center for Health Statistics says otherwise. It appears that humans just might have mating seasons. But before we explain how and why, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel because we have more content coming your way. The busiest months of the year. According to statistics, it turns out that September is the busiest month of the year in the United States. If you're doing the math, this means that November and December are very, very busy months for humans. So could the end of the year really be a mating season for humans? Well, we might not bash our antlers or pump out citrus scents to mark the mating season, but we do have an urge to mate. However, this doesn't mean that we are driven to reproduce like animals are. We are entirely different creatures when it comes to that. It's often about perfect timing. Most animals plan reproduction so their offspring would be born when there is an abundance of food. For example, seals give birth when the mama seal has stored enough fat because babies are fed only with stored blubber. Other animals plan to give birth when the environment they live in can provide the most resources the baby will need. However, these rules do not apply to primates. A large majority of primates can't use blubber as a feeding strategy because they are not able to put on fat or store it. Other species, such as lemurs, don't spend that much time and energy trying to conceive. Instead, their birth season might depend on the availability of a certain resource. For some animals, planning the birth season doesn't work out always, mostly because of droughts, floods, or other environmental factors. Weather can often deprive the species of the necessary resources that would normally be used during the birth season. Raising babies takes a lot of energy. Big primates, such as great apes and humans, produce big offspring that require a lot of energy and for a prolonged period. It also takes a lot of resources to raise a big primate baby. According to research, there is a big raise in births when there is no shortage of food. So yes, this might mean that mating can become seasonal, but it has more to do with mothers trying to raise their infants during times of abundance than the fact that they have an innate drive to reproduce. Humans, or at least most of them, live in a world where they can choose when to mate. The reason why is that we have a lot of flexibility and resources that allow us to do that. We don't depend on the external environment. Our sensitive systems. Though mating is not dictated by the external environment, humans have other issues, such as their reproductive system. The human reproductive system can be extremely sensitive to change. For example, being underweight or obese can have a serious effect on fertility. When compared to other primates, humans struggle a lot to get pregnant. The average number of menstrual cycles for conception in humans is six, whereas most species require two to three. On the other hand, other primates don't have nearly as many resources as humans do, which makes reproduction much, much slower for them. Also, great ape mothers tend to breastfeed their infants until they are able to feed themselves, while humans cut that process short because we have the ability to rely on other foods. We also have the ability to rely on other people who help us nourish our offspring until they are able to get food on their own. Nevertheless, some research shows that seasons can be linked to sperm quality. For example, summer months lead to a lower quality specimen. Also, the way we choose to live our lives can affect the mating and birth seasons as well. Researchers also found that between 1931 and 2010, lower birth rates were directly linked to the days when the temperature was above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But this started to change in the 1960s when air conditioning was introduced, which led to an increase in births throughout the entire year. So, do humans have mating seasons? Yes and no. While most babies are conceived during the colder months and holiday seasons, when people spend a lot of time indoors, that doesn't mean humans don't mate during the warmer months. And you? Were you born in September by any chance? Let us know in the comment section below.